Ah, so the essence uh, first you think of yourself actually. Uh, I've been experiencing uh, this oceans of suffering of each realm, six realms, each realm numberless times, uh, from beginning less to birth and uh, so I try to uh, be aware of that. Uh, <clears throat> so all the brief orders expand the lumbrum and the filter teachings. Uh, all that suffering, and, uh, from, not just one time from beginning this rebirth. Now, um, then, uh, oh, then after uh, they see uh, how it is unbearable, then uh, you see the, sorry, um, so uh, relying on the Dhamma Sangha, for that is, uh, there is a, um, you know, the less vital way of taking refuge. And so that the Kasura and then there are numberless helpings, hunger birds, animals, human beings who are absolutely in demonstrating like yourself, then they've been experiencing uh, suffering of each realm numberless times uh, from beginning this rebirth. So uh, this is not free. Um, so, the numberless, you see, uh, numberless, numberless sentient beings experience uh, this, uh, the oceans of uh, the sons of this six realm, uh, each one, numberless times from beginning this rebirth. Or try to get the attachment to the idea. Now, now, numberless, you, you, just you. But now, numberless of them. Huh? What we experience, numberless times from beginningless. Huh? Get that idea. So, can't imagine, you can't believe in one, even in one second. It's most unbearable, most unbearable. Uh, you, know, even, you see, even one second, you can't, uh, can't stand. Even, even one second is so unbearable for you. It's not that. Oh, then you say, then, like when Buddha Dhamma Sangha uh, requests them to be, send them uh, to be free from some type of ocean, so some type of them, my great mind way of taking refuge. Mm -hmm. So, the both the compassion, being unbearable, the sentiments, uh, they have been suffering from the beginning of the this Wow, 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 wow. Kind of major, kind of, in, even in a second, you can't, uh, can't be a, you, can, uh, you can't be a, you can't, uh, it's unbearable to think, uh, to notice that. So then, you see, uh, during that time, you know, also remember Hurricane, uh, with, the, with the refuge practice, Sangha you can remember your friend who's dying, your father, mother who's dying, your brother, sister, your children, whatever, all those uh, dying, um, you know, or not, uh, Whatever disease, whatever problem, whatever heavy, pro heavy problem going through our difficulties, and so remember that. Uh, all those, all those already dead ones uh, are now dying. So, inclu including that, remember that in the, when you take refuge. Then ask the Trotter and Dhamma Sangha to free them from oceans or sometimes. Of so that I include the hurricane now then, say, yeah, you know, to immediately to be disappeared or to become much, much weaker at least, you know, not uh, much damage, you know. Oh, then at least like that, you see, yeah, yeah. So, oh, it looks like not only this present one, then it seems there are the, there are two, another two others, Harrigans, uh, or they, I mean, they, they have different names. Then you see the earthquake, 
uh, how do I, eight point, eight point or the very large, you know, met with in, uh, Nepal. Uh, Nepal was about, first one about uh, more than six and something like that. Ah, uh, so that was uh, more than eight and you know, something, um, last, last night I think it's uh, Mexico and then so, um, oh, I see. So like that, uh, mm. so this kind of thing. Of course, uh, generally speaking, the people uh, are practicing more loving kindness, more compassion. Not harm, but helping, uh, helping others on the basis of not harming others. Then, of course, then there will be more peace in the world. More peace you know, due to a result of the action, karma. Uh, due to the result of the action, virtuous action, the, uh, to others, helping others. Uh, unknown people, even animals, anyone who has uh, who need happiness, who don't want to suffer. You know. Oh, then if there's more and more happened, more and more happened, and then there will be more peace in the world, less danger, uh, less danger from uh, the life being less in detail, you know, that kind of uh, yeah, uh, damage was harm, yeah, to many sentient beings. Uh, also earthquakes, and dangerous fire, water, earthquakes, all those things become, become less. So now you can under, now you can see why we do Dharma Center, why we start Dharma Center. Now you can understand. Why we start Dharma Center? Why we start an FMT organization? Now you can understand how that is important. Hmm. And besides the whole path to enlightenment, uh, you are still practicing as, which, as you can, and then uh, creating conditions for other sentient beings to learn to hear Dharma, to learn Dharma, to practice Dharma. Oh, that's what FM is for. That's what, that's what, where you are where you're working the center is for. Oh, that uh, so it's not just a family. It's not just a uh, living big family or it's just not just, it's not just running company. Not that Com running company normally it is it is for money. Run company run company is uh, mainly uh, mo mostly, the, the, I can't say everyone, but mostly motivation is subjection thought, and it is about money. Main goal is money. Uh, mm, so, mm, all of that. Uh, so, the FMD, Katsuri. Uh, the Dharma Center, uh, it, that is to help the mind, to body and mind, to help the mind of sentient beings. Mm, to help the mind of sentient beings. Even you are expert in running company, business, it's, that doesn't specify the motivation. Motivation is not taught in the university, only to the business, or when you do the business, when you do the company. Uh, motivation is not taught in the, com in the university. Uh, there's something, uh, sorry, some, uh, maybe some skills, or how to make money, or things like that. Um, you see, now, um, even you are expert, you have a high degree. But you see, the way of running the center is with compassion. Wherever the religious organization, the, uh, the running is the compassion. The root motivation of compassion. 
Then of course, of course, second thing you have need wisdom. Uh, if you don't have compassion, uh, if you don't have compassion, the wisdom becomes limited. Wisdom becomes limited, mm, limited, and uh, as for them. Uh, also, the, if you don't have the root compassion, wisdom alone, then there can be problems. You, you can have problems. Mm, problems will problems will rise. Uh, but the root is compassion, pure mind, compassion to others, care, caring others. Uh, you don't want others to suffer. You want others to have happiness. So up to enlightenment, not only this life happiness, not only temporary happiness, only this, this life. Even that is only this life, not the, not like that. This life is just, uh, you know, few years, few months, few weeks, few days, few hours, can be anything. So this, uh, you know, future life, until you realize for noble truth, um, when? So uh, <clears throat> can be billion, zillion, trillion years, I'm not sure. So you see, so happiness, causing happiness or all the future lives until you are free from samsara, temporary happiness. Then free from samsara, the ultimate happiness. Oh, then oh, enlightenment is like, mm, yeah, free, uh, free, totally free from samsara, nirvana. Uh, peace, and then uh, peace for yourself. And, uh, free from that great nirvana, enlightenment, pulling. I mean, Buddhahood, um, Sanskrit. And, uh, total cessation of spiritual completion, realization. All that, I say. Mm, so, happiness is uh, all that. Oh. Yeah, so, so those uh, those long run, um, long run temporary happiness. Then long, then the ultimate happiness, liberation of samsara forever. Then uh, fearless happiness, uh, the category uh, Buddhahood. All those are the category. Mm. Also, those are very, um, the, uh, more and more important. Yes, of course, it's uh, more and more important. More and more important. Yes, of course, higher, higher, more and more, more and more important. So, like that. So, so what you, so where you concentrate, where you aim is the enlightenment uh, to bring the sentient beings to it. Or oh, peerless happiness. Oh, that one, that should be your aim. Mm, for sentient beings, mm, that should be the main aim of the organization of this. Of course, think of all oh, others happiness, but enlightenment, man. Mm, so, like that. Oh, mm, like that. Um, mm. So, uh, protect the mind. We come back to root of the main purpose is the um, compassion. The one, that, the one that's compassion, then do that, all the wisdom will happen. All the wisdom will happen. Hmm? So, like that. Mm. Otherwise, you know, you know, we don't come completely like, for example, Arhat, you know. Yes, they realize, uh, realize the emptiness directly, but what they achieve is only uh, liberation of the cessation of delusion, you know, only, only that. And not a cessation of subtle obscuration, not that. So no enlightenment. Mm -hmm. So a kind of perfect for the sentient beings.